Hello, Sweet Tooth here. Hope your day is going well. Hakuna Matata! Welcome back. Let's play some more Bomberman 64 on the N64, not emulated. Yeah, my personal N64 is right next to me. Man, I've been at it for a while, but I got it! I got something that I could not do when I was a kid. I got all the switches. Oh my god. I can't believe I did it. Uh, let's get out of the level. I just want to get out of the level. I don't want to ever do that again. I'll come back into the level and I'll try to show what happened. Oh my god. Alright, this is what happened. Don't get any fire power-ups. Get as many bombs as you can. Get the remote bombs. So, increase the number of bombs you can do and get the remote bombs. Do not get the fire bombs. You do not need those. I think the number of bombs stays with you, so I don't really need to worry about that. here, you probably should keep those when you decide to make a bridge across. Okay, let's exit, let's go back in, let's get more bobs. Not that one. That's explosive power. Well, explosive range. It's not really power. Okay, anyways, let's clear out the enemies. That's the first thing you need to do. Just look around, make sure there's no enemies around. Alright, what I need to do is I need to make a bridge. It's so fucking difficult, like you just... It's all about pattern memorization. It's horrible. There. There we go. Now when you get to this part, what you need to do... Is apparently you need to press the bomb up to the thing, throw it, and it'll knock it back, and then it'll knock it forward. Weird, huh? It doesn't work all the time, but a lot of the times it does. And that's how you get the switch. 
It's the same thing if you're trying to go to the other side. Throw it. Hits him. He jumps up. This one, you have to go all the way to the side. Then throw it. It's probably going to land right there, and I try to use, like, another one. Just in case. Oh yeah, I need to blow them up, don't I? Now I can either try to stand up here and survive the blast, which I will try. And that's why you don't increase the uh, range of the firepower, because it'll kill you. <laughs> Alright, stand right here. Make sure there is a bomb at least down there to catch me so I don't get, you know, I don't fall off of this shit. Sorry for the language. Anywho. Let's throw that right there. Let's try to use another and another. And another, I said. Another. Okay. Alright, this is a little bit tricky. There. And that's how you get the other switch. Haphazardly. <laughs> Alright, that's two switches. Clear out the enemies again. Uh, actually I need to leave the room because I need that pillar. I need to destroy this one. But I need to keep that pillar right there. Clear them all out, because they're just going to wander over here. Sooner or later, they're going to wander over here. Alright, make sure nobody else is there. Alright, what I need to do is... To, I like to stand like right here. Don't th no, that's horrible. But I can correct it, so I can uh, just throw another one like right next to it. No, that's horrible. I need to exit and go back in. That was bad. That was real bad. Okay, um, anyways, let's just bridge myself over there. I'll figure it out. Oh, I gotta blow this up. Just bridge my way over there. I'll figure it out. Watching the arrow on the left, trying to figure out like where to place these. Okay, and one more. I watch the arrow on my left, and I try to stay behind it. That's 
say get over there. You kind of just let yourself fall on it and he propels himself forward. Press it up against here. Okay, enemies are coming around again like assholes. up here. See, if I throw that, it doesn't go far enough, so I kind of use, like, two of these. Then I'm going to pick up a big one. Knock myself out with it. This is good. Pick this up, blow it all the way up, do the same thing on this side. That's not too bad. So just fall on it. There you go. That's the third switch. <sighs> okay, now I need those bombs back. Or do I? Actually, I probably should be right here. It's hard to tell how many bombs I have left. I think I have enough. Let's just go for it. Yes, I have one more. That's all I need. Press it up against me. Knock me out. Knocks me forward. And there you go. That's the fourth switch. That's how you get out of the level. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Like I said, whoever thought that was a good game design, fuck you. And I mean that with respect. Man, I've never made it to this fight. Never done this. <laughs> what an ass. Give it up! That does not stun him, huh? Oh, he's trying to head me off. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> tries to head me off, so if I run forward... That should have hit me. Oh well. Who am I to complain? Wait a few seconds. 
seconds. Then grab. Oh my god, he's he's actually pretty good. Oh my god, he's actually really good at this. Where he's coming from. I can't tell where he's gonna hit.
missed. Another bomb. Away, you wuss.
a joke. Hey, Bob, I'll take care of you later. First, I need to get rid of him. <laughs> Give me the heart! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> you can't get him! Actually, been able to beat Bomberman 64. The four of us were barely able to steal the Omni Cube from him. Yet you were able to defeat him. I must respect your abilities, but that doesn't change the fact that I dislike you. Someday, you and I will settle this. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye, Regulus. minute long credits? Oh my god, I gotta sit through the credits again! I can't- I'm pressing every button! I'm pressing every button, it's not working! It doesn't give a shit, it's like, watch the credits again! Ugh. By the way, I think I know why I have all the gold cards on the final level, on that Rainbow Palace as well. Because I know I earned the other gold cards, but I think when I got to the first stage of Rainbow Palace, I was so pissed by how hard it was that I just used a Game Shark in order to get the rest of the gold cards. 
I legitimately got to the grip. What the? What was that? seeing that cutscene. I thought I remember much about the game itself anyways. But anyways, I legitimately got to the Rainbow Palace, but when I got to the first stage of Rainbow Palace, and it was still requiring to get all the Rainbow card or a Gold cards, so I was like, I am so pissed, because I could not get past that little stage 3. That's when I used a uh, Game Shark in order to get the rest of the Gold cards. I was just so mad. Because I spent a lot of time trying to get all the fucking gold cards. It was just... I do not remember that happening. How come everybody's banging their head? Wow, these credits got really weird. them banging their heads. Unless maybe that did happen, I, I don't know. I mean, I was too young to remember, so... What's he gonna do? Okay, these credits have me interested now. But it's changed. We were not like this before. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny.
fucking spider. Boss can be hard if you don't get rid of him as fast as possible. Man, these credits go on forever. Right mind puts 20 minute credits after a 10 minute game. Yeah, that's what happened after you beat Altair. You have all the gold cards. That's what's that's what happens. That's fucking Rainbow Palace level one. I remember that shit. Fuck that kind of game design. Fuck it. That, but let's put it up in the sky where you can fucking die in one hit. Just fall off your head. And yet, I still did it. That's a weirdo. That's the problem. I get into a rage game, I get pissed at it, but I still do it. I don't know why. Well, for this one, Bomberman 64, I kind of like, I kind of like it, you know? It's like I just wanted to see the final boss. The final boss is actually pretty awesome. Except for the first part where he was flying around like an idiot. That was stupid.
Hiroshi Nakamoto. Get it to Shigenji. have gone on forever. It's not even shown anything new. Ugh. 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 We did it! We did it! Yeah! Woo! Celebrating with the animals. by Hudson, as opposed to Hud Father. Alright, anyways, there is something I wanted to check. Does that actually happen for those special cutscenes? If you got all the gold cards, let's go check. Look at that. Completely filled. First time in my life that I've ever felt like I accomplished something. <laughs> I'm joking. Does he trip and fall? Yo, hi. He does not trip and fall. That's weird. The <laughs> bat. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. You're mine. 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 That's how you get all five gold cards on that one. Anywho, uh... Since I didn't show it, let's go try to go to stage four, and after getting all gold cards, I'll show you what happened. How your... The guy that helped you in the beginning betrays you. Even though you saw it in the credits. I guess it doesn't make a difference. You wanna fight me? Yes. Altario! Night 
Thomas Alfer. Alfer. Double play time. Now. <laughs> Finish you! at a time. Get all the gold cards on that particular time. Ah, whatever. Anywho, the guy betrays you, and that's what opens up Rainbow Palace. I guess you're supposed to get you're supposed to get all the gold cards during the fight. That's okay though. Whatever. Anywho, you saw in the credits what happened. Man, I actually beat it. So that's the end of Bomberman 64 and 64. You know? I don't have anything else I can do on the game. Can't believe I actually beat this thing for once in my life. I finally feel accomplished. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, that's Bomberman 64. It's it's a lot harder than it looks. It's really, really hard. The best thing to do with somebody else, though, is that versus mode. The versus mode is awesome. So fun. 
Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment. Any comment at all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.